In the canon of Beethoven's symphonies, uh, the fourth is sometimes overlooked. There, there is this tendency to overlook the even-numbered symphonies because they're considered perhaps less mighty um, than the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth. But the fourth is a masterpiece. Yes, it came between the Eroica and the most famous fifth symphony, but um, it is a jewel. It is a completely happy piece. It is rhythmically completely charged. And in fact, the perfection of its form and the articulation of the, of the musical material was such that, that many people were taken by it, recognized its genius. I mean, great composers. Uh, Robert Schumann referred to it as a beautiful and supple Greek girl standing between two Western giants. The Western giants being, of course, the Eroica and the Fifth Symphony. Um, but there is this kind of classical perfection, which I think he was uh, going for. Um, and Mendelssohn was so taken by it that for his inaugural concert, at the Gewandhaus, where he was music director, he chose to program that piece. So it had, and rightly so, a lot of great advocacy. But it is, it is a joyous work, and it is Beethoven at the height of his powers, and it's a tremendous thrill to play.